In this video, we will solve the age-old Minecraft mystery of why Endermen hate Endermites. Stick around. The Endermen, tall creatures that can be found in all dimensions, will ruthlessly attack these tiny little critters, the Endermites. But why? To answer that, we will need to look at the origin of these two mobs. Solving this mystery will unlock the many secrets of Minecraft. The Endermite seems to be some sort of weird parasite originating from another dimension. You see, if you look at the Endermite and the Silverfish, they look pretty similar. They both are arthropods since they are both affected by the enchantment called Bane of Arthropods one of the most useless enchantments in the game. Further proof of this connection between the silverfish and endermite is that silverfish spawners are found right next to the end portal, a place where endermites supposedly live. This takes us to the next mystery. Why is there a silverfish spawner here, of all places, next to the end portal? Well, you see, monster spawners can be found in many Minecraft structures, so I have classified them into two categories. There are natural mob spawners and unnatural mob spawners. The natural mob spawners are mob spawners spawners that are there to imitate things that happen in real life. For example, the cave spider spawners in the mine shafts and the secret spider spawner in woodland mansions. It appears just to be Minecraft trying to replicate real life spider clusters, so we shouldn't overthink it too much here. But unnatural mob spawners seem to be put here for specific reasons. For example, the blaze spawners inside nether fortresses, the magma cube spawners inside bastion remnants, and the spawner in the middle of the Minecraft dungeon. This now brings us back to the mystery of the silverfish spawner. Why is it here? Is it to guard the portal or something? I don't think so. It is here where we try to solve the paradox of many Minecraft theories for the end. End portal frame's texture. And the cyan color on the end portal frame almost looks like it's the same color as an ender pearl. This would make sense since eyes of ender can be placed inside the end portal frame. But to be able to get end stone or ender pearls, the ancient builders would have had to gone to the end first, right? Or perhaps not. Mojang and the Minecraft Mob Bestiary, an official Minecraft book which has a lot of lore, hints of a pocket dimension between worlds. The Minecraft Mob Bestiary was canonically written by a quote, devoted naturalist and Minecraft mob expert. What begins this theory is on the page with Endermites. Quote, some argue that it, the Endermite, is a trans-dimensional parasite that pulls itself along with anything traveling between worlds before it is reclaimed by the void from which it came. This may explain why Endermen, who freely travel between the End and Overworld, hate them." End quote. This pocket dimension probably looks like the End portal blocks inside End gateways that can teleport you to the Outer End Islands, or like that outer spacey looking animation inside an activated End portal. Let's explore this pocket dimension. Inside there are clusters of items which is where Ender chests store their items for the player. These items can leave the pocket dimension if the player takes out items from their Ender chests. I Items can enter this dimension if a player pulls an item in it. This would explain how you can access your items inside of any ender chest, no matter where you are in the world. Endermen and other mobs such as the Shulker can pop in and out of this dimension to teleport. You yourself can temporarily enter this dimension whenever you enter an end portal, exit portal, or end gateway. The end gateway simply teleports you far away while the others take you to the overworld or end dimension. You also can temporarily enter this pocket dimension by by using an ender pearl or chorus fruit. There is a myth that teleportation is only just really fast movement. I think it's just how Minecraft renders the game though. This can be debunked since Endermen can teleport through walls, and teleportation is in many game file names. Now, things get complicated when we factor in Endermites. There are probably thousands that infest this dimension. This is my attempt at explaining why they're there. The ancient builders in the strongholds were trying to figure out how to harness the power of the Ender Pearl. They got these pearls because they killed some of the Endermen that could teleport to the overworld. This is how they were able to get the ingredients to build the end portal, thereby solving the paradox. This is very important. The Endermen have been secretly using the pocket dimension to travel to all other dimensions, including the Nether. They might have been the ones who created the warped force biomes. Proof is that they carried mushrooms. It sounds absurd, but this is directly proven by the Minecraft mob bestiary that they can travel between the end and overworld. For the ancient builders in the strongholds, the silverfish was a great 
great guinea pig to use since it is one of the smallest creatures in the game. That is why there is a silverfish spawner next to the end portal. They were able to teleport the silverfish into this pocket dimension where they are now trapped. Silverfish love infecting things, so they infested their way into the ender pearls. They proliferated in the pocket dimension, turning into the modern day endermites. The silverfish, which became endermites, started harassing the endermen that teleported to and fro. At first, this invasive species killed millions of endermen. The endermen in the overworld were affected the most since they teleported a lot during daylight. That is why there are very few endermen left in the overworld compared to the end. It also might have been because the ancient builders killed slash enslaved many of the endermen. The endermen eventually adapted to this invasive species by being ruthlessly aggressive towards it. In older versions of Minecraft, endermites would occasionally spawn whenever endermen teleported. This is no longer the case because the endermen killed them in the pocket dimension before they had a chance to ride with the endermen now. Also in older versions of Minecraft, endermen would not get angry at endermites which didn't spawn from a player thrown enderpearl. This might have been because only endermites that came from teleportation angered the endermen. The endermen probably helped kill around 90% of the endermite population in the pocket dimension, so you can thank them for that. The ancient builders eventually used the knowledge they amassed to create a permanent portal. The end portal. The ender dragon seem to have the power to close off the pocket dimension from the endermen, preventing them from teleporting to other dimensions except the end. This would explain why the bedrock exit portals are deactivated while the ender dragon is alive. Perhaps killing the dragon frees the end because the end portal, and thus the pocket dimension, are opened up once again. Whenever the player throws an ender pearl, for whatever reason, endermites are very attracted to the pearl. It is not entirely clear what the ender pearl actually is. Is it a literal pearl that comes from creatures like oysters? Is it an endermite egg? Or maybe it's the eyes of an enderman? Or something else. You can take damage whenever throwing a pearl because while you are temporarily in the dimension, endermites start attacking you, taking away a few hearts. There is also around a 5% chance they'll hitchhike a ride on your back and enter the overworld or nether with you. Perhaps the player can't see this so-called pocket dimension because time works differently or something like that. Anyways, after 2 minutes, the endermites are forced to return back to the pocket dimension since they can't survive too long outside of it. Endermites are literal trans-dimensional parasites, as directly said by the Minecraft mob bestiary. They are parasites since they infect this pocket dimension, and potentially try to infect other things like the ender pearl or maybe the enderman. The endermites are like leeches. Here's another weird thing. In the Minecraft mob bestiary, an official Minecraft source, it mentions this on the page with endermites. But I have to wonder whether its vulnerability to Bane of Arthropods may indicate that the Endermite is related to the overworld's spider and silverfish. Perhaps both theories are correct, and the Endermite is evidence that beings have traveled to the overworld for millennia? Oh, all these questions are quite enough to give one a headache. The author is quite right about that last statement. This does seem to confirm our suspicion that Endermites were once silverfish. What stood out to me the most in this quote though is the word beings. This could imply that there was once other civilizations in the end that interacted with the ancient builders in the overworld. They might have been the ones who built the end cities and collected dragon heads as trophies. They might have used bedrock imported from the overworld to create the bedrock exit portal at the center of the end island. Who knows what happened to these beings? To recap, there is a pocket dimension between worlds where ender chests store their items and where endermen and shulkers teleport. Chorus fruits, ender pearls, and portals will temporarily bring the player into this dimension. This dimension probably looks like the otherworldly animations you can see inside end portals. This dimension was probably peaceful for millennia until Endermites, descendants of the silverfish, infested this pocket dimension and they bother and attack both the player and the Enderman. This is why the Minecraft mob bestiary calls the Endermites transdimensional parasites. The Endermen and potentially others have been teleporting to the overworld and back for millennia. So to answer the age-old Minecraft mystery of why Endermen hate Endermites, Endermites are an invasive parasite which infested the pocket dimension Endermen normally use for teleportation between worlds. If you enjoyed this Minecraft theory video, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.